All right, guys, I'm out on the main channel of the Mississippi River today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Got a little bit of a breeze, but I'm gonna be vertically jigging and just pitching around some real deep rock piles out on the main channel, AKA wing dams. And we're gonna be fishing out on the deep ends of them, you know, 15, 10, 15 feet down. But uh, with the flow down like it is right now in the Mississippi River, these panfish are hanging out way out and uh, right in that deep water around rock piles and there might be some surprise fish as well. I have the um, aqua view down so hopefully I can add in some underwater footage to just give you an idea what, what what's down there but should be a good day hoping to get some nice bluegills stick around I think we got a great video for you. It's our first bluegill of the day. It's a nice fish. Real nice. Not bad, not bad. So I'm just using a 32nd ounce uh, lead head. It's a, kind of a sartreuse color and then some night crawler on there. You probably don't even need that much, but that's what we got. Like basically right below me is the is the rock pile. And I got about 12 feet of, there's another one. Got about 12 feet of water in between me and the rocks. And there's a bunch of bluegills down there. People typically will think, well, I gotta find the weed beds and throw out a bobber and a worm and that's how you catch bluegills well you can catch them that way but right now the majority of the fish are out near the channel there's another one can't even get it down there and all you really need to do is get right over top of them and and drop a jig down you could even use a plastic I'm using crawlers because well, they work really well. Yeah, it's just automatic. I'm not even having to do anything. And they are on there as soon as I get it down. You can move around to different spots, see if you can find some bigger fish. But, or you can just sit over a spot where you know there's fish and just kind of pick and sort to put together enough for a meal. You're going to get some small ones and you're going to get some good ones. But just got to keep the ones you think you want and let the rest go. better one easiest fishing you can possibly do doesn't take much time here to hook up. Like I said, essentially get it back down there and they're eating it. I just got that scraggly little piece of worm on there and that's all it's taken.
Yeah, it's so nice out. I, I just absolutely love this time of year. It's my favorite time of year. Uh, everything's happening as far as fish are biting. The weather's great. You know, we got football starting. We got playoff baseball starting. Hockey's going to be starting. We got bow hunting coming up. All kinds of hunting seasons. It's just, this is the time to be alive right now. It is great. There's one. Got the barge over here. He's gonna probably blow the spot out once he turns that corner, but bluegills are here. One thing about fishing on the main channel is you got the, the barge traffic and all the bigger boats as well. We will deal. Let's go try another rock pile. Well, it looks like we got some fish down there. I saw a sheephead and one bluegill. There's a sheephead right now. You can see the rocks. Oh, well, let's get a line down there. better one. That's what we were looking for. I was watching the screen looking for a fish and this guy hit while I was screwing around. That's a good bluegill. Some good ones down there. I'm in 15 feet of water right now. Got a bunch of sheephead down there and bluegills. Get, getting some decent ones. I'm just doing like, like I had said, I'm just dropping it straight down. There's another bluegill looking right at me. Head. Never know what you might catch down there. I think I keep seeing some smallmouth or something down there as well. There we go. Ooh. 
It's either a really nice bluegill or a sheephead. Or a walleye, maybe even. Oh, sheephead. So we got one of them sheephead that are lurking around there. Little guy. That's fun. Another sheep head. It's fun. On him. Come on him. Ooh. Yes. Look at that Radcliffe red. Just handling those big old sheeps. How can you not like that? That is awesome. That was fun. Nice. Woo. Let's do that again. There we go. Blue girl. Good one. Sheephead and bluegill. Both are very good. If you like eating fish. There's a walleye. Fish. Bluegill. You soon? Small mouth. Good one. That was not the small mouth they saw. Pretty sure. A lot of bluegills down there now. Got him. Got him. There's a good one. Oh, that's a bass. Got a bass. just moving around a little bit using the trolling motor to just kind of float back and I'm watching on my camera 
my aqua view when there's a big pile of boulders you can also see it on the graph so you don't necessarily need the camera it's just kind of fun to see what kind of fish are down there but you just float down when you see those those quick steps or or like a uneven bottom with a nice hard red mark on your screen chances are those are rocks and that's where you want to kind of anchor above and then start doing your vertical jigging Feels a little better. Whatever it is. It's rock bass. Wow, look at the size of that rock bass. That's awesome. Getting all kinds of different species here. That's a beautiful rock bass. Put up a tussle. What I haven't pulled up with this worm yet, which I'm a little surprised of, is, is a walleye. I did see one on camera, for sure. There we go. Bluegill. Well guys, you kind of get the idea of what kind of pattern I'm fishing here. Find those rock piles, anchor right over them, drop down vertically with a jig and a worm and you're gonna catch fish. The bluegills are out in the main channel, looking at uh, 12, 15, even 20 feet of water. If you're seeing rocks down there and the flow is down, which it is, you're gonna probably catch some bluegills and a little bit of everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, maybe learned something and we'll see you at the next video.